How you going folks? Cam from Wild Touring. I want to do a little bit of a review today on the uh, Travel Body Marine Oven. I've only had it about a month. I'd normally wait a little bit longer before I posted a review, but uh, I'm so happy with it. I was too excited to wait any longer. So uh, Crystal Air make two of these. I've got the larger one, the Marine Oven. Um, the sm uh, these go for about 260 bucks plus postage. The smaller one's around 215. I've got the 12 volt model, but there's also a 24 volt model available as well. It's adjustable up to, a, it says 200 degrees on the on the knob here, but uh, I'm pretty sure the spec said it goes up to 190. Uh, and then you've got a timer that you can set for up to two hours or you can leave it permanently on. They do draw quite a lot of power. Um, I think they said it draws around nine amps, but um, I'm running a watt meter through it and I'm finding it's drawing about 10 amps. So depending on the size of your battery bank, that's definitely something that you take into consideration. I love it for the fact that you can you can bung a couple of pies or a roast or whatever you want into it uh, while you're driving somewhere. Uh, and by the time you rock up, it's cooked and it's warm and it's smelling awesome. So yeah, I'm loving this thing. Anyway, I'll give you a closer look. Alrighty, so yeah, your temperature on this side is adjustable, goes up to 200 degrees. Your timer's on this side. Now, as you turn the timer, that's you'll see the red light come on, that switches on. So it's thermostatically controlled, so once it hits that set temperature, it'll flick on and off like, like your oven at home to maintain the temperature. Now the whole thing's stainless steel. Um, the sides and the top and the bottom are really well insulated so they don't get hot at all. So I don't have to worry about it being next to plastic or on top of carpet, doesn't worry it. The only thing that does get hot is this stainless door because it's not insulated. The door itself um, is great. I had a 700 gram roast in it uh, last week and I was on some pretty rough off-road tracks and it was bouncing around, but it didn't pop the door open. So that's great. It's got quite a firm catch on it. So this is what it looks like inside. I, I had a couple of pies in here and they bounced around. Cheese and bacon pies. The, po the cheese ended up all over the bloody thing um, and then baked on. It was a nightmare to clean. So one thing I would suggest if you get one of these or if you have one of these is to line the bottom in foil so it's a little bit easier to clean. Now they do come with two of these uh, YMS trays and the other one sits at this next level. So, I mean, if you're putting pies or pizza pockets in, you could get about eight of them inside this. The smaller one, I believe, does four. So yeah, pies, pizza pockets, sausage rolls, uh, anything you can think of, anything you cook in the oven, you can cook in this. Um, I did, I wanted it really more for things like roasts and, uh, and uh, casseroles and whatnot, slow cooked meat. Uh, so I tried a, a, a roast last week 700 gram roast and a, and a plate full of potatoes and I stuck it in for about three three and a half hours and it came out absolutely beautiful So roasting trays like this are fantastic to stick in out. You can put two in there. The heat comes from the bottom. Um, yeah, I would suggest that you either cover these in aluminium foil or you use the lids that come with them and crimp it over. Uh, or use oven bags or something like that just to contain everything. So you can see there, that's the way that you can bolt it down, fix it down. Um, there's one on each side, a little bit of angle there. I'm just using wood screws because it's going into plywood but there'd be nothing to stop you from using uh, nuts and bolts or you know, however you want to fix it. It does come with a cigarette plug on the end, which you could use. Um, I'm not a big fan of cigarette plugs because while you're full driving and bouncing around, they quite often come loose. Um, so I sold it on some Anderson plugs to match the rest of my setup as well, and that seems to be working quite well. Anyway, wrapping up guys, highly recommend this. I reckon they're fantastic. Uh, only thing I say, wrap the bottom and foil to keep it clean and make sure you've got a suitable size uh, a battery bank to run them because like I said it does draw a lot of power. Uh, if something like this suits you, get on to it. Cheers guys.